So here we are, we're at the end of the training, and just kind of like free form a little bit what I asked this morning, but now that we're at the end, you, you've got everything we've got to give, what uh, are your thoughts? What, what kind of feedback can you give us on it? Best thing ever. Should be given before people even sit down and try to drive off the parking lot. Um, the information that is given at the time of purchase compared to what we just got over the last eight hours is unbelievably different, more informative, hands-on, so you can ask questions right when it's not just a walk around and off you go kind of thing. Um, the driving part of it was a confidence builder. Even if you have a little confidence driving, it certainly can either tweak what you have or help you get to do things that you never thought you could do, like never thought I'd be able to parallel park a 38-foot RV. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I, as I said earlier, I think that anybody who sells RVs, if they don't get this service, is doing a disservice to the, the new owners, inexperienced owners, or even owners that are upgrading to bigger bigger rigs. Very helpful. I think the um, tablet that you gave us with the information is going to be so valuable because when this sits for winter for four or five months and we forget everything that we just learned, um, we can refresh ourselves before we even get to go pick it up to go out and, and you know Memorial Day weekend. So I think that, that's excellent. Do you think that this training um, has or could save you time and expense and damage? Absolutely. Because even this, the little thing, again, it's the little things like when the air conditioner didn't work, I never would have thought, that, well, let's go check the, the breakers on the generator because I never would have known to do that. And it's like when someone comes to help you out, at how, oh, it's this little switch right here and that's $200 because we had to come out. Um, so I think the little things, even knowing like, what did you call it, what color your RV is bleeding to know what fluid is leaking or what you might need to put in there, at least that stuff we know now. Um, and we have materials to go back and look it up if we forget.